Hello, welcome back to Death's Gold Embrace. We would just been looking for the four talismans and the missing page from the Book of Shadows. Uh, last episode I didn't know where to go, so I looked for a quick hint on the forums and found a hint that told me what I had missed was in this building here that I thought was empty. Uh, and actually it's not empty under the stairs here. If I walk towards it, a keeper glyph becomes visible and what I th looks from a distance to be a solid wall is actually possible. So. Keepers. Keepers indeed. Keepers that keep things. Secrets or not. So, uh, as a matter of fact, I was just here because I uh, have been through this part of the episode before and forgot to start recording. Not that it really matters. Um, but that means I'm not taking quite as much time to look about here as I did before. So, a bunch of maze-like hallways. It doesn't really lead anywhere except to another hidden keeper wall. Oops. Leading to a little uh, storeroom off a graveyard. And I know that noise. I don't like that noise. That sounds very much like the thing from Mr. Miller's basement. But, uh,. Killed us several times, and uh, huh, presumably killed these people. Maybe they just froze to death having dinner here on a table in the cemetery. I don't look particularly mauled. Guess maybe he's got blood on him. Why would he have dinner on a table in a cemetery in the snow? Perhaps it's a reference to something that I'm just not getting. Well, spooky cemetery. What do we have down here? Spooky basement. Well, we know that the robot woman guard nurse thing likes spooky basements. We also know that I don't like spooky basements, but uh, we have talismans to find. We have torn pieces of paper from a book to find. And somewhere along this way is definitely the place to find it. Garrett, master of slapping his own face with doors. Well, okay. There is a talisman. Plain as day. That's got to be too easy, right? There's a trick here. There's also rats here. Well, uh, apparently, oh, there's the rat. Hello, rats with the little rat holes. Apparently, there was no trick. It was a matter of picking it up. I did hear a doorway shut, but uh, how odd. Alright, let's go back upstairs. I thought there'd be something more to it than that. Oh shit. Oh. Is that the robot woman thing? I can see two, the ghosts of those people. appears to be vomiting blood onto the ground. She also appears not to be functioning. What happened to those ghosts? Uh, this is very weird. Uh, 
Oh, she has the torn piece of paper in her mouth. Animus corpore vita mors est. We have the missing page from the Book of Shadows. We are still missing the talisman of life. Well, uh, this is the robot woman that we met in the basement, uh, but appears to have finally run out of steam. Or life, I guess. Oh, that's right. We read in the inventor's journal that he had uh, put the phrase in her mouth in imitation of the uh, the golems, the ancient golem creation ritual. So, yeah, I guess that's why we found found it there. Now, I'm a little concerned that she's not actually completely inactive and will come back to life and kill me shortly, but I guess we just have to find out. What's through this door? No, that's not a door. Alright, so we got the Talisman of Death. We got the page from the Book of Shadows. We also found the uh, robot woman who's been haunting people's footsteps. Uh, haunting owls' footsteps in a way. Uh, a little too late, but um, what we don't have is the Talisman of Life. Now, once again, following the... Uh, following what I read on the forums, it should be in this Keeper area somewhere. Though I don't know where. There is apparently some kind of puzzle. I'm really have no idea what elements here form a puzzle. I'll look around a little more. I don't know what I am missing. This is just goes back up to where we came in. Yeah. It's all very dark, uh, made worse by the fact that I've actually left the room lights on. I'll rectify that later. But, uh, so far... <laughs> no sign of uh, anything that appears to be a puzzle. These don't even look like individual books, they're just book textures, which is uh, unusual for this mod. But that probably means that none of them are switches. <laughs> so where is this talisman hiding? <laughs> Not there. So these is open. That looks like a door, but... It even has a doorknob, but it's not a door. And there's uh, several of these bookshelves that all look pretty much the same. There's this one bookshelf lit by Wisp, whereas most of them are lit by Lanterns. There's also a statue here lit by Wisp. Now, that is not writing, is it? No. Oh! Oh! footsteps running away. From here. Oh, that's new. Hmm. Did I make that close or did it just not get there in time? Let's try again. That's where the footsteps run away. What happened there? Oh, 
was able to interact with the statue. But... And heard a grinding sound. Oh! Aha! Aha! Hello there, talisman. Life keystone. So, objective complete. We have the four keystones. Life. And... Somewhere in my inventory. Spirit. And flesh. And death. Okay, that means I now have everything I need. Is that the voice I have? I don't know. And I should now have everything I need to complete the ritual. So let us go back to the mansion. Yeah, nice, uh, nice uh, people there. The spying on your fellow keepers, I guess. Back through their wall. It's not a wall. I mean, like, I threw the body down and the other guy knocked the conscious and even clipped through the wall. But that one didn't see that as a clue because, uh, you know, bodies will clip through walls even when they're not fake. Like, uh, just there. Alright. So this building was significant. A uh, very unmarked building, but the keepers do like to be remain well hidden. So now we can complete the ritual, as far as I'm aware. Double check. Yes. Found everything. Return to Fairbanks Manor. And take Julia's body down to the ritual location. Once there, assist Brother Thaddeus in performing the ritual. Unfortunately, you can't get in the back door because it's locked. So uh, I'll have to go back around to the front. Make sure we don't run into any guards. There are still a few around. While well, we do so, but uh, it looks clear. library. Now we can pick up Julia's body and uh, make our way down the ladder. Carefully. To the caves. Which are not very long, fortunately. It's a fairly small cave. Just big enough to have a rather ominous ritual room built in at the bottom. Very convenient when you want to perform rituals. Hello there, Brother Thaddeus. Uh, I have everything that's needed. Excellent, Garrett. I knew you would succeed. You even found the missing page? Yes. You don't want to know. Garrett, may I have the Book of Shadows? Uh, sure. <clears throat> uh, does that mean I have to give it to you? Well, let me scroll through my inventory here till I find it. It is here somewhere. Ah, there we are. There. Firstly, we must inscribe this phrase on each of the three scrolls. Animus corpore vida mors est. Lord Fairbanks, as the donor, must make the inscription. Okay, what was that phrase again? Animus corpore vida mors est. Translated, tis spirit becomes flesh, death becomes life. Garrett, hand me the papers, please. Of course. Now what? I scribbles. Very impressive writing with uh, not even moving your hand properly. Dear Julia's body must be placed inside the octagon now. I can do that. <coughs> mm, let's do it better. <coughs> Garrett, place the keystones and take care not to enter the octagon. And the order doth matter. Judging from the inscription and diagram on the missing page, it appears to be. Death to the north, then life to the south, followed by spirit to the west, and finally flesh to the east. Death north, life to the south. Alright, uh... What happens if I step in the optical? It probably kills me. Death to the north... 
Do I just drop it? No. Where do I use it? Ah, okay. Death in the north, life to the south. What was the rest again? Uh, flesh to the west, spirit to the east, I think. Uh, if I get it wrong, I don't know what's going to happen, but don't blame me because your priest man does not uh, repeat himself. Ah, well, I can't get it wrong, apparently. Wouldn't let me place the other one there, so I'm assuming this must be right. Now what? Uh, it's happening. Julia, my love, you're here. Oh, my sweet blossom. Father, Robert, you're here together. Yes, sweet Julia, my child. I've invited Robert here to help right the wrong I set into motion. You, Father? Yes, it was I who made Edwin challenge Robert to the duel. If only I had known you would follow. Blame not yourself, Father. I'm only glad to see you and Robert reconciled. We intend to bring you back, my love. Back? Back from this world to yours. Yes, my sweet. So you can be reunited with Robert, from whom I unwittingly stole you away. Oh, Robert. How I long to hold you again. And soon it shall be, my sweet Julia. Brother Thaddeus, so you have helped make this Nay, happen. Nay, child. Garrett here hath done most of the work. Then I owe you more than can ever be repaid, Mr. Garrett. Money will Don't be fine. Don't worry about me, Julia. Besides, your father will pay the highest price of all. What? Father? Uh, the only... The only way your soul can return is for me to forfeit mine. No, Father, you cannot do this. I must make up for what I've done to give you a future with Robert which you were denied. Denied by my blinding hatred for Alan Highwater. But hopefully that too will be set right now the cursed feud will be ended. How do you expect to accomplish that? My father is unlikely to accept our love as you have. I've left letters to both my wife and your parents, urging them to accept your love, mend the wounds, and put an end to the feud once and for all. Perhaps my sacrifice will inspire them. Julia and I will do all we can to make it so. Indeed, we will see an end to the feud, Father. Garrett, I left your payment in a box in my bedroom. Take it on your way out, and thank you. Let's make sure this thing works first. Lord Fairbanks, if thou art ready, we can proceed. Yes, it is time. Next, you must enter the circle with your daughter, Richard. I love you with all my heart, sweet Julia. Be happy with Robert. Bear him many strong children and grow old together. We shall always honor your noble sacrifice, Father. I love you. <laughs> Father. Garrett, thy help here is critical. Master Robert, Julia, and I must all chant Animus Corpore Vita Mors Est together, while thou place the three scrolls in the brazier. The order must be Fiber Hemp, followed by Fire Oak, followed by Dragon Snap Waterweed. If thou dost mistake it, we shall all perish. I'm ready. Let's do this. So, uh... Animus Corpore Vita Mors Est. What order was that again? Uh, if I get it wrong, we all die. How would I save? Uh, I think it was fire at first. I have new objectives. I'm dead. 
Uh, right. Um, I think I saved. Didn't you say fire oak fiber hemp? Maybe it's the other way around. Fiber hemp first. Oh, that looks better. Then fire oak. Ah. It has worked! Julia, my love! Robert! We're together again! At last! So, that is my old friend! What? <laughs> How ironic that thou art responsible for my return! just happened? How did that thing know your name? Twas a trap! The spell must have been modified by none other than Brother Mathian. He was a childhood friend of mine who was excommunicated from the Order of the Hammer for heresy. I take it he did something he shouldn't have. He was always interested in death and the afterlife, even as a child. In our foolish youth, he became increasingly obsessed with the dark arts and necromancy. He was finally ousted from the Order for digging up poor Brother Timothy from the Cathedral Cemetery and attempting to resurrect him. So, you're saying that was Mathian possessing Julia's body? It must be so. When Mathian left the Order, we kept watch upon him for some time. He took up residence in an old abandoned castle on the outskirts of the city. The last time he was seen by one of us, which must have been thirty years ago, he had become haggard and skeletal from his many arcane practices. He hath not been seen for many years, and we have long presumed him dead. Garrett, I fear that the ritual we just performed was perverted by Mathian to restore himself to life. Oh shit. How did he manage to modify a spellbook in a hammer library? He must have modified it before being expelled, hoping that if he were to meet an unfortunate end, it might someday be discovered and performed by someone, allowing him to return to the mortal world. I fear we have been duped into doing just that. Now he hath not only possessed dear Julia's body, but hath taken Master Robert with him, and poor Lord Richard hath perished for naught. So, what can we do? I... I know not. I needs must return to my chambers and consult there some tomes. Canst thou escort me? Uh, Any luck? Yes, yes, at last. Apparently, an evil spirit such as Mathian can be driven from a host body using a staff which hath been blessed by a high priest, such as myself, and also enchanted with the Builder's Flame. If the evil spirit be struck with the flame while not embodied, he will be destroyed. So, what, a, a wand that shoots holy fireballs? Well, tis a crude description, but in essence accurate. And by destroyed, I mean not only his manifestation, but all he hath done shall be erased from the world as well. Now I should have a suitable staff here, and can perform the necessary incantations while thou prepare for thy journey to the castle. Well, I should have known it wasn't as easy as just doing the ritual. New objectives. Uh, when you're ready to leave for the castle, go to Thaddeus in the living room and get the holy staff. Uh, before I do that, I do need to go back to Fairbanks Manor to the bedroom and uh, retrieve my payment. It would be terrible for me to miss out. Whoops. That's right, it's not too far. So... Quick run around the corner here. Uh, I did uh, admire the little dance of rage that uh, Thaddeus did while he was making his speech there. That was quite something. Right, back here. Uh, up to Lord Fairbanks' bedroom. What the frick is this room? He said in a box on his desk. Richard's gem collection. 
Uh, yeah, good thing you remember to go back for your payment. Bonus objective, good. And it might make a difference if we need to buy any equipment anytime. But also, you know, Garrett's not motivated by all this uh, true love or mystic mumbo jumbo. He wants money. To be honest, I don't know why he's continuing on with this uh, ridiculous quest of destroying some evil spirits. So it doesn't seem like an efficient way for him to get more money, but, uh, you know. Maybe he's getting old and feeling sentimental. So it's possible. Alright, so Thaddeus, where didst thou run off to? Not here. Maybe downstairs. That's the room I just came from, so you're not there. Ah. Is this the stuff? Well, I'll bring them both back if I can, alive or otherwise. At this stage, Garrett, it would be a relief just to have two bodies to lay to rest side by side. If not in life, at least they can be together in death. You gave up on them quickly. Let's hope so. Good luck to thee, Garrett, and beware of Mathian. His power may be greater than we know. Well, alright. I guess we're going to a castle. That is the ritual complete. We missed one secret. We found... Yeah, missed quite a lot of loot as well. Let's see what is next for us. The Wailing Keep. Once inside the castle, figure out where Methian is and destroy him. It's time to put an end to this madness once and for all. Once you've succeeded, make your way back to the campsite to where you started. Snowy and foggy, and once again, I don't get a chance to buy any equipment. Judging by the footsteps here, many people have been here before me and walking every which way. So, I have my sword, I have a holy staff with 50 charges, um, which for some reason has taken the place of my blackjack. Okay. Broadheads, 40 broadheads, 5 rope arrows, no other arrows of any kind. I have 3 fruit, my love picks, and that's it. Alright, well, let's not make the same mistake I always make. Let's uh, make a save right at the start of the mission so that if anything goes badly wrong, I can restart easily. So, whose campsite is this and what became of them? They left behind some uh, chicken. Oh, I might eat that later if I need hit points. Or if I get hungry. Apparently there's a uh, the moon shining here somehow. What happened? Well, I think he died. Violently. Path goes ahead, but uh, is there anything up here? No? Oops. Kinda looks like I should be able to get up there. Nope. Alright. Carry on into the fog. More blood. I know the path went ahead, I'm just curious about what's off to the side here. And I'm staying out of the light because uh, right now I don't trust it, but it's, well, pretty bright out here as well, to be honest. Looking at the light gym there. 
Alright, uh, so this just goes around the side of the whaling keep. And maybe all the way around. That's a big cliff. I don't think I want to go that way. What is around here? go behind all the way around it seems I'm guessing we're gonna have to go in the front door because uh, I haven't seen any sign of a side door that's uh, conveniently ajar appearance of uh, darkness and shadow on the ground, there is really no shadow to be had here. So, uh, this is where we diverted. I have 50 charges on this holy staff, and I'm not entirely sure how to use it, but we'll find out. Here is the front door. That's conveniently open for us. So what are our objectives? Just find Mathian and destroy him, okay. Somebody came this way. And apparently, from their footsteps, they did not come back. <laughs> What's this? Hmm? Rubble. <coughs> okay. Oh, it's a chair. And a glowy mushroom. And a collapsed tower. <laughs> Surely I can climb. <laughs> Although there's no reason to, it seems. Oh. Those do not look good, and... I'm guessing they're not friendly. Mathian, or what? Should I? Uh, he saw me. Is you. I see you. How does this work? I'm hitting him with it. Guess you might be in. <laughs> Ouch. It's not fair. You hit me and I can't hit you. Oh, there's no help. Oh no, you can. Oh, not a sword. They're all here. That's party time. I don't know what I'm doing, this isn't working. Nothing to them apparently. Your holy staff, Fabius, is rather unimpressive. And I'm dead. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there at all.
So, I don't know, maybe I'm just supposed to avoid those things? But the one that was talking to me seemed to be Thaddeus, right? Oh, well, there, I see one of them there. Oh, there's a, a room here, okay. Maybe I just follow these footsteps but carefully avoid these enemies. Where did that one go? Oh, I see. Where's it going now? They're patrolling back that way, okay. Aha, there's our big friend. Alright, a little more subtlety seems to be in order, I guess. Where does this gentleman's footsteps come here and there's blood? I fit through, no. He's not far enough away from my liking. Why can't I fit through here? I can get stuck. That window's too small. Why is there another doorway this side? There is. So I think somebody met their end there, is there? Stay back. I mean it. Wait. You're not one of them. No, I'm not. No. You are Clara Hollingsworth? Yes. Who are you and... Ah! What the hell are you doing here? Name's Garrett. Let's just say I'm working with Thaddeus to try to rid this place of its curse. Curse? You, you know of it then? Well, I know this place used to be inhabited by a necromancer. And that thanks to a trap he laid for Thaddeus, he's been able to return. I'm trying to undo that. Through years of research, Boris and I have managed to piece together some things about this place's history. Though most of the castle dates from later, the site itself is most definitely of German origin. Though those elemental guardians that decimated our party aren't. I know just enough to guess that they're conjurations of the Hand Brotherhood. How they got here, I can't even begin to guess, but they seem to be invincible. Likely due to the Drimian power source that supposedly lies beneath the central keep. Probably in a small underground cathedral. That's the main thing we were hoping to locate on this expedition. That doesn't really matter anymore. <sighs> Look, I need to get into the central keep, but the portcullis is closed. Any suggestions? Before we were ambushed, Boris said the central keep gate opens whenever the braziers in the four corner towers are lit. It's a typical Drimian design, but they can only be lit with this wand we brought. I was trying to do that when I was injured. Here, you take it now. Thanks. I hope you make it, Clara. <laughs> if I do, I'll buy you a pint at the trickster's tail. Right. Garrett? Yes? I know enough Drimian to translate, if you find something that might help, but can't read it. Good to know. Take care of yourself. That was a strange postscript there, but okay. We have, now have a hefty wand, which we can use, I guess, to light the braziers in the four corner towers. Uh, use the wand to light the braziers in all four corner towers, which should open the portcullis to the central keep. No doubt Mathian is in there somewhere. Alright, uh, so I guess I followed the right footsteps to make some progress here, even though I haven't... Somehow I knew the portcullis to the central keep was closed, even though I haven't actually seen it. And I guess that's the central keep, but I didn't examine it. Uh, it's not a central tower. That's a tower in the middle of the wall, not on the corner, but... Um, well, let's have a look anyway. Nothing. Okay, I imagine the corner towers are occupied by patrolling beasties. I see them seem to be uh, their style, I should think. Certainly the one at that corner was. This one maybe is clear. Let's proceed with a little caution. I 
I don't see or hear anything. I did hear some footsteps just then, but... Uh, I'm stuck here. Stuck on the geometry. Don't come this way, beastie. Or you. I'm not actually sure if I'm supposed to climb up this way. Maybe I'm supposed to go up the tree. So happy. Maybe you did see me after all. <laughs> oh! Hello, what are you doing down there? And what are you? Angry, that's clear. But uh, you also did not kill me, which is also clear and quite helpful. Well, so the tower, the tower is being patrolled by uh, a glowy thing. That, despite not having feet, definitely has footsteps. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna try going. Oh no, I'm not gonna try going up again just yet. Let's let's see if they go past without noticing me. Seems unlikely to be honest. Well, perhaps. Only right, one's going back. Another one's coming in. So far, so good. Way. Not sure why I'm going this way, but I uh, don't know what I hope to find. The other way did seem a dead end, so maybe this way I'll find something that I can use to get up to the next level. A tower, perhaps, that isn't collapsed. No. Nope. My staircase down. Doesn't help me. Well, and uh, some fallen rubble that also does not help me. That blocks my passage. Alright, let's go downstairs then. Anyone about? Ooh, nice, no, just another blue mushroom. you, but you're going away. Is that one just sitting there? It appears to be so. I'm amused by their very definite walking gait and uh, footstep sounds, but... Uh, there's the big guy. Oh, 
What's this blue bluey fellow? And where's that? Where are they going? Okay, so there just seems to be a light. This seems to be a highway. There's a lot of traffic. See me somehow. Let's try the upstairs. If I don't get stuck. There must be a way to get up to the next floor where the bridges are. Maybe this is the tree. It certainly doesn't appear to be in here, although is that Boris? He has a note. Check your map. Alright. Let's check my map. Likely layout based on tradition of Soralian castle design. The central keep, the portcullis, the outer gate, keystone. The Wailing Keep. Notes. Outer gate should open with the Drimian keystone, which I stole from them and sold back to them. Bring something or other. Device. Or braziers to open portcullis. That must be the hefty wand. Beware cliffs on north side. The sea is a long way down. Noted. Hope for a Rothgart temple. B. Davidoff. Alright. Uh, so. Nothing. There's no apparent way up there. Down there is angry. Oh, there's uh, ladders in these central buildings. That's good to know. Uh, don't come this way. Or if you do, don't find me. Did it turn around and go back? It did. Okay. Oh, we're back here again. Now another one's coming. All the same one or something, I don't know how this works. Leave me alone, please. Uh, Alright, we appear to be the uh, other side of the tree or the same, same place or something again. Okay. He's coming back. Oops. You didn't see me there. So, I guess... Well, unless I can actually do platforming on uh, some of these other collapsed buildings... I could almost get up here where the tree had uh, broken the wall, but not quite. Oh, he is angry, isn't he? Look at him. All lit up like a Christmas tree. Maybe if I stay out of his sight, he'll forget I'm here. Yes? No? No, he's still there. Let's ignore him. They seem to go blue when they're not alert, and uh, yellow when they are alert and suspicious. Thought. Can I use a rope arrow on this tree? Mm, broadhead does not stick in it, so a rope arrow is out of the question. Can I get a running jump and get up here? Aha! Whoops. Whoa! They didn't see me. Alright. Uh, now you saw me. I'm, I'm not here, I'm not there. Alright, we are on 
one of the four corner towers, and this tree is popping in and out of existence and uh, <laughs> looking confusing. Let us try our hefty wand to light the brazier. We've got some angry, glowy things trolling on the way, and uh, they don't like the look of me, and I don't like the look of them. That's mutual. It's all very bright out here, so I don't really think I can sneak past them very well, so I'm just going to run for it, I think. Oh, there's another big one. So, can I drop down there? How do I think? Hey, self! Oh, uh, hello, C! Uh, that is a long way down, indeed. Yeah, not that way. That's the wrong way. Am I glad I saved? Garrett! You should be a little more sure-footed than that. I don't know, I'm just not running along the middle. If my plan is to run, I should just run. <laughs> Ha ha! Ha ha ha! You can't get me. Growl and scream and moan all you want. Where's my hefty wand? It's like the next one. Let's go! Ouch! They're after me. Run, run as fast as you can, you. Please don't catch me! Ow! Ow! He has, uh, missiles. That's, uh, not fair. Well, let's eat my fruit. Get most of my hit points back. My chicken leg didn't help. Maybe I have to be a little more careful for the next one. Wait till they've, uh, calmed down and gone away a little, perhaps. Let's save here. There's another. Oh, it's seen me too now. Uh, whatever, let's just go for it. <coughs> oh, another big glowy one. Oh, he's shooting at me. <coughs> ladder! Ladder! Save me, ladder! Where's the ladder? Oops. Oh, I didn't find the ladder. It's a problem. Now, I have no way to hide. And they followed me. Uh, Ouch. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm almost dead, and I'm lost. Alright, I've done that corner. Is this... Hello there? Are you friendly? Please tell me you're friendly. You're not friendly, are you? Where are you going? Uh. Oh, hello there. Yeah, I don't like you. There you are. Yep, here I am. Oh no, I don't like you either. Run away, Garrett. Run away. Stay in the shadows if you can. <laughs> There's a ladder, there's a staircase, so will do. I'm gonna die. Uh, ouch. Oh, dead end. I told you I was gonna die. Alright, uh... So my amazing plan of making a run for it, uh, failed here, because they were all chasing me. And... I couldn't find where to hide. Sorry, I couldn't find the ladder up at the next tower, the last tower, uh, in order to get up to the thing. Now, the ladder should be in the corner, but I missed it. So if I...
make a run for it again. No, it's not the best plan. It's the only plan I've got. I don't know how to sneak effectively past all these things patrolling. Now, who are you? And do you have anything for me? I don't know. I will find out later. Good news is this time they don't seem to be on my trail, but they are ahead of me. Is there a ladder? Oh, it is. This is dark. Well, I didn't see it. All right, but only one of them was there. And this. Oh, and it hit me. Okay. This is the final brazier. And there opens the portcullis to the central keep. Uh. Bad news, I'm almost dead. Good news, we do have access now to the central keep, should we desire it. Can I get down my hair without hurting myself? Oh. So what is the best way back to the central keep? And he's there and he's angry and I think he's just seen me. He's definitely angry. Uh, right. Hmm. This is not going quite according to plan, but, uh, you know. This isn't really Garrett's area of expertise. Oh, there's Clara. We might... Maybe I can drop down here without hurting myself. Oh, no. There. Okay. <laughs> Sort of steps up there, I'm hearing. Well, we're not dead yet. I'm just gonna make a another save here. I'll keep my quick save where it was for the time being, because there might two hit points might not be enough for me to survive whatever comes next. So hello again, Clara. Anything new for me? Any healing potions? No. Now I need to find my way back to the main gate, which was this way. And it was dark most of the way there. And I followed her footsteps, and uh, by pure chance, that was the place I needed to go first. Now I need to keep an eye out for uh, little glowy things. It's right behind me, I had no idea. Okay. Good thing I was stopping and looking. Here it comes back. And there's him. There's another one. Uh, he's still roaming about. Anyone else? Okay, let's go. Right, here is the main gate. So the central keep is ahead. Let us. Oh well, I've overridden my quick, quick save anyway. Let's check out the central keep. Hopefully, none of those things are in here. Let's not be too hasty. A little circular tower. Oh, there is a spiral. There is a staircase here. Spiral staircase. Everybody likes brushwork spiral staircases. Oh, it goes up another another floor as well. So, more floors, okay, it goes a long way. What is this? Alright, so that's the central keep. This is some kind of device. No doubt important, but I have no idea what it is. Well, I could get across that roof and then to that balcony, so that's uh, something to bear in mind. There's another device on this tower. So far, I have not seen any of the patrolling glowy things here. Oh wait, the different colours. First was blue, that's white. Here's red. And then... 
queen. Alright, I should probably try getting across that roof. <laughs> nope! Not that way. That wasn't exactly a running jump, Garrett. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm. Well, maybe this is not the right approach. Uh, it looks too low from there to jump down to it. Uh, there's not quite enough of this ledge <laughs> to get to running. What's there? <laughs> Garrett's scream of agony is uh, probably all the indication you need as to the success of that approach. But yeah, that's too high. <laughs> well, maybe we can just go in the front door, you know? Let's, uh, let's have a look at what the front door has to offer before we... Uh, decide we must use our clumsy climbing abilities. Oh, there's a wispy thing. They don't seem to be hostile, but they do light up and then they fade away, so I'll wait till it fades. In case there's something nasty. Alright, it's faded. Now it's come back. Lots of wisps in here, but there doesn't seem to be enemies, so maybe that's okay. There's chairs, and uh, they're kind of strewn about. We have. Alright, there's a way down, and uh, they did say below the inner key. I was supposed to explore. There's also a way up. What's upstairs? Steps. Or rather, arrhythmic like footsteps. They don't really sound like footsteps at all. What's this lever do? Uh. Whatever it does, it uh, doesn't stay. Mystical light. Oh. That is the clicking, and that is what steps are, because no doubt you're also an enemy. You're going upstairs, alright. So there's more upstairs. While you're up there, let me check this room. Probably has another lever. Indeed, it does. I have no idea what these do. Except that they reset themselves. God, I thought that was that clicky thing. Yeah, that's the clicky thing. Where does it go? So the wisp, does it just come here or does it go to that one first? Uh, comes here, alright. Move on. Hide in our dark corner. Last time it didn't enter this room, it just walked into that room and turned around, so. Hopefully it does the same again, yes. Okay, carefully follow it back. I think I need to check upstairs now, see what, see what all this is about. Uh, so I will wait and then I'll go down to the foot of the... Wait, is it coming back here? It is coming back here. What's it... What are you doing back here? You're supposed to go upstairs. Alright, it didn't come in here. Oh, I see it kind of walks randomly, alright. Good to know. So go away, Wisp, you're causing light where there shouldn't be light. Alright, let's hope that thing comes down and then turns to its left. I see it patrols up there. If it goes into that next room, I will then make a break for the stairs at that point. 
I assume it can see me and get angry and kill me like uh, the things outside, you know? Weird, glowy, mm, you know, wispy, misty things don't feel entirely safe. Turn left. No, that's not left. God damn it. Is it darkness here? No, not really. Let's just listen. Let's hope it doesn't come in here. You weren't supposed to come here, dude. Now what? I guess now I find out what's upstairs. Rather hurriedly. I locked the door. And the roof I couldn't make it onto. Alright, well, uh, he's angry with me, but uh, I think I've escaped him. For the present. Whew, this is not really Garrett's line of work at all, escaping from hostile, glowy things. Well, still angry there. Hunting about for him, no doubt. This is not a very safe roof either. <laughs> Okay, that then is not the correct approach. There was also at least one locked door up there, which uh, we're either going to need to pick or find a key for, I don't know which yet. And that's not great. So, is there anything back here, just as a quick check? What I'm thinking is... I'm sure there is something I have to do up there, given these four, these four, like, different coloured lines of, no, let's call them lasers, these four different coloured lasers in the corners. I'm going to have to do something with them, I'm sure I'm going to have to turn them all off. Uh, and those two levers in the towers are no doubt relevant as well. Well then maybe they just control the portcullis? I don't know, probably there's, probably they're important. So... But I don't yet know how they're important. And I don't know what is upstairs that I need to uh, do. I don't know what's behind the locked doors there. But also there's a downstairs that I haven't explored yet. And uh, perhaps something important there. So I'm going to end this episode here and uh, take a bit of a break. And I will see you back here for the next episode. Uh, shortly. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.